And we are here at Concordia University Ann Arbor for the 68th annual CIT. We are going 94 feet with Mitch Pellissier. And Mitch, what does CIT mean to Concordia Chicago mean to you? Uh, it means a lot, just coming together for a huge basketball tournament, tons of fans, tons of kind of community between the four Concordias just competing. A lot of fun. And you guys are going to have a lot of fans here. This is obviously in Ann Arbor, but yeah. I, I hear there's a lot coming. Yeah, we're really close. One of the closer, or second closest to us. So a lot of fans, our cheerleaders band, of course, is coming up. So it'll be well, a lot, well, a lot you, of fans. You made a, lot, you made a long trip here. You were from the state of Washington. Yeah. You yeah. came all the way to Chicago. What drew you to, to Chicago? Um, well, just like I recruited to play basketball. I'm also Lutheran, so that helped a lot. Um, love the big city of Chicago as well. Tons of opportunity there and stuff like that. All right. And what's your favorite NBA team? You don't have one anymore, but are you still the loyal? Supersonics? I'm still very, very loyal to the Supersonics. Definitely. definitely. All right, all right. A couple, a couple of rapid fires here for you. Okay. What is your coach's catchphrase, or any, does he have anything that he just um, repeats all the time? When he gets angry, he says, "Gosh darn it!" Really, really loudly. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Yeah. All right, now tell me something about a teammate that we might not know. Um, my teammate Jonathan Turner or JT thinks the world is flat. Okay, all right, little Kyrie Irving, that's yeah. nice. All right, what's your go-to karaoke song? Um, buy You a Drink by T-Pain. Nice, yeah. okay. All right, who is the worst singer on the team? Worst singer on the team, Joel Childers by far. And who's by the far. best? Um, Jalen Meeks. All right, yeah. that's good. well, all good right. luck to you. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. We're gonna go 94 feet with Jessica Slomchek of Concordia, Chicago. All right, what does CIT mean to you and mean to Chicago, the Concordia, Chicago? I think it's just a really cool place for everyone to come together and really play at a next level of basketball. All right, and uh, you guys hosted you know, a couple years ago. What was that like and uh, what are you expecting tomorrow? It was really cool. Everyone really came together. I, I expect nothing less tomorrow. Right, bring in, I heard there's, there's a big crowd coming. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you originally from Houston and then you have now you know, joined us in Chicago. Now, what is, uh, have you been fully adopted by Chicago? Have you, have you really embraced Chicago or are you just still a Houstonian? Yeah. I think it's been really cool. Actually, the other day I like slipped and fell, so that was embarrassing. But I went sledding and that was really fun. Yeah, probably not a lot of sledding in Houston. No. So. <laughs> so now you are an exercise science major. What what do you hope to do with that and uh, down the road? I hope to do some athletic training. I think that'd be really cool. So when your your teammates get hurt, you're just like looking over their shoulder and like seeing, <laughs> seeing one, can I help with that? Yeah. Like, right. Okay, now uh, what is your I'm asking the Chicago people, you know, because Chicago's a great music town, what is your go-to karaoke song? Or is there uh, is there a, a, a song you hear a lot when you know, when people are uh, doing karaoke? There's definitely a lot of Hannah Montana. So I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Alright, All right, and uh, who is the, the worst singer on the team? I'm gonna say Annika. <laughs> all right, and who who is the best? Uh, maybe Michaela. Okay, all right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. All right. <laughs>four feet with Bailey Parker and Bailey you are here for this is the fourth CIT for you what is what, what was CIT like when you guys hosted it last year yeah we got to host it last year I mean it was pretty nice not having to travel I did live on campus so just coming to my room for the games was definitely nice all right, you guys are going to bring a lot of fans. I know you will, but it, it is. But I want to get this out of the way. As a member of the vertically challenged community, what is the worst like short joke that people tell you? That every time someone just makes a joke and you just cringe. Uh, I don't know. I guess my coach always calls me out during practice. Like they're probably going to try to close you up, so you got to deal with that. <laughs> All right, well, nine. You guys have won nine straight games. You guys have been red hot. What has been the key to your winning streak, and uh, and how do you like your chances this weekend? Yeah, I definitely think we've come together as a team. We were pretty young coming in, um, so we do like to transition a lot, shoot a lot of threes, so I think it'll be a good competition. All right, now you are from a town, and I have to check this, Oconomowoc, yes. Wisconsin. Now, I, I looked this up, you, the Wizard of Oz, which celebrates an anniversary soon, uh, premiered there 180 years ago. What is the character you most relate to in that movie? <laughs> um, maybe Toto the dog. Well, it's pretty small. Okay, all right, that works. That works. You've got nine siblings. How fast can you name them? Um, Tyler 
Brittany, Cameron, Sarah, Emily, Brock, Summer, Bailey, Hannah, Chloe. All right. Who's your funniest teammate? Um, I'd probably have to say Cameron. She just says random things at random times. So that was pretty funny. All right. If you uh, win the lottery tomorrow, what are you going to buy first? Well, probably pay off my student loans. Then with the extra $10, go to Taco Bell. All right. There you go. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> 94 feet with Andrew Bratsky. And Andrew, uh, this is your fourth CIT. You've experienced a lot. What was it like hosting last year? What was your favorite takeaway from that? Um, it was definitely just fun having like the big home crowd in front of you. Obviously, the home team's got a little advantage there, but it was a little different just being at home, not having to stay in a hotel. It was pretty convenient. And, and you guys are going to have a big crowd coming, right? Probably a couple bus loads. I yeah, we got a couple buses, got the band, some crowd, so it's always fun seeing all your classmates and stuff at the game cheering. And now you, you guys won six of your last seven. You're playing really good basketball right now. What's been the key to your little uh, streak there? Uh, we got a lot of experience from last year coming back and a lot of guys stepping up, taking their roles, and everyone's just been playing really well together. All right, you're an accounting major, so I have to ask you, are you ready in your, in your future life or even right now for everything? everyone in your life to ask you to do their taxes? See, I'm going into audit, so I don't even know a whole lot about tax, so probably have to say no to a lot of people. So we don't want to, we actually don't want you to be involved in our taxes. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Who's the best cook on the team? Uh, best cook, probably my roommate, Jake Jers. Uh, he packed a whole cooler for this weekend with his own food, so it's a little extra. All right. Okay. And uh, what was it like growing up as a twin? You have a, uh, it's almost like a, a twins, Danny DeVito, Arnold Schwarzenegger situation for you. Yeah. I mean, my twin's shorter than you, so. It was a lot different. We're not identical at all. And I mean, having a twin sister, you gotta you just have fun together. All right, one last thing. Who is the funniest teammate? Uh, funniest? Probably a kid freshman named Brandon. He's not really explicitly funny. He's just goofy all around. All right, we'll keep you on. Thanks a lot. Thank you. We're gonna go 94 feet with Quinn Rogge. Now, you guys have only lost one game this year. What has been the key to your success? Um, I really think uh, just our preparation, just making sure we're ready for that, that next game. Well, for you, I mean, you had a couple undefeated seasons in high school. I mean, losing is just not something you're used to. How do you handle losing when you've only done it maybe like 19 or 20 times in your life? <laughs> um, you know, I think the best way to handle losing is to always learn from it. To just like, okay, what happened there and try and fix it. All right, well, what's your favorite CIT memory? There's a lot to choose from with this program, we know, but what, what, was, what was your favorite? I definitely think my favorite was just being at home, having that experience at home and just winning it there. All right, now, you guys do a lot of uh, long trips, being in Nebraska, and uh, it, who, was some, who was the best teammate for, uh, for a long road trip? Ooh, who, do you not want, who do you want to sit next to on the bus? You know, that's tough. I like to sit by myself, but um, let's see, Colby's pretty good. Colby's yeah. Pretty good. All right, who on your team cares way too much about their appearance? You know, I'm going to have to go with Colby again. She's the slowest person out of the locker room. Okay, all right. And so, um, who is the... I know, tell us something about your coaches that we might not know. Um, you know, Coach Olsen is a very bad dancer. Very bad dancer. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for that. Yes, uh, maybe maybe in a celebration at the end of CIT. There you go. All right, well, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. And I'm here to go 94 feet with Brevin Slope. And you are an agribusiness major. I know it's hitting a lot of stereotypes with Nebraska, but what is your, what is your goal for uh, your career in agribusiness? Um, I grew up on a farm my whole life. So the goal right now is just to go back to the family farm. We raise cattle. So right now that's kind of the goal where I, where I want to go. So you, so you got cattle, but that's not the only animal that you have on that farm. Tell us about the, the other occupants of yeah, your farm. Yeah, we actually have 15 peacocks. Too. So that's a big hobby at my grandma. So, I mean, just to keep her happy, we keep the peacocks around too. So, <laughs> okay. Is uh, is there an animal that you relate to most? It's maybe not a peacock or or a cow. Um, we also have a dog at the farm, Hazel, and me and her connect pretty well. She rides everywhere I'm, when I'm out doing chores and stuff. So that's a good connection too. So, all right, this is gonna be your third CIT. What is it? What's your favorite memory of, uh, of CIT? Your favorite experience or yeah, de moment? definitely my freshman year when it was back in Seward when we won it. Um, the crowd was crazy and obviously it helped that we won so that was, that was a lot of fun definitely best so far now you're a hometown kid you're from seward but t tell us like what's the most interesting for those who maybe have never been there what's what's the most interesting thing about your hometown um i don't know if it's anything too crazy interesting i guess um fun fact is it's the fourth of july city 
So on the 4th of July, there's a huge, huge celebration. There's people that come from everywhere. I mean, uh, news broadcast have came and done broadcaster. So I mean, that's a pretty big deal. So I guess that's pretty interesting. All right, one last thing, uh, one fun fact about you that uh, maybe not a lot of people know. Um, my left eye can't look left, so. All right, well, good luck, and good luck this weekend. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> And we are going to go 94 feet with Randy Bach. And uh, Randy, uh, tell me a little bit, uh, you've been at many CITs, but what is your favorite CIT memory? Uh, my favorite CIT was, uh, I, I, love, I love everything about CIT with the bands and the drama and people and the camaraderie and the spirit, so that's, that's the best. But my favorite game was, uh, I think it was about five years ago up at uh, River Forest when our ladies in Ann Arbor uh, played and they were, we were ranked in the top five, both teams, and it was an epic battle. Jim was hot, Jim was raucous, and the game came down to the end, you know, last possession, last play kind of a thing. That was. That was spectacular. Well, now you talk about a game that was hot. Now you have an issue with coaches on your uh, your team that have to be hydrated, and oh. uh, that is as part of your job. And uh, tell us Apparently. about some of the issues that your coaches have with with water consumption. Well, they're unable unable to drink out of a water bottle themselves, and so I have to constantly take them water during the game. And they need they need a certain amount of water. They need it at certain times. They need it. Too much, too little, it's gotta be just the right temperature. And so I have a problem with trying to gauge what they need and what they want at different times. So I, it's a lot of pressure on me. And you're trying to keep their players healthy and keep them hydrated. That's a tough, tough job. So. The player's health sometimes comes second, but as long as, they're, <laughs> as long as the coaches are hydrated, they're happy, but. All right, we have to talk about your shoes. This is a, the, the <laughs> legend of the Air Box. Now, yeah. these are the shoes that you've had. You, tell us about the different ones that you have. Like, the, <laughs> you have the, the lawn mowing shoes, the game day shoes. What, what, yeah, what is I, the legend behind these shoes? Well, uh, I have different pairs. I have the game day Air Box that I only wear in the arena. I have the shoes that I wear around the office that I wear day to day. And then once those kind of get retired, they go home. And there are shoes that get me to work, get me back and forth to work. I, I mow grass in them, some shoes I have to go to Walmart in. So I've got four or five pairs of Airbox at home. Oh, man. They're keeping Nike alive for sure. All <laughs> yeah. right, well, good luck to you this weekend. Thank and you. Let's get a look at these shoes. Yeah, baby. Airbox, baby. <laughs> Perfect. here with Carly Morris. We're here at 94 feet with Carly Morris. And uh, you are a senior. You have been here for four years. What has been your favorite memory of CIT in, the, in the, all four that you've, you've been a part of? Um, my favorite memory in CIT was when Manny got the steal and took it up the floor for the win. Because you guys probably going bananas in the, in the crowd. Yeah, that out. was really cool right. for him to get that last second. And what, uh, what does CIT mean to you as a player? Um, it's just where the Concordias get together and we do our best and try and battle it out. And it's really fun. It's a family oriented crowd. So it's just a really fun and crazy environment to be in. All right. I want to ask you about your coach, your first year head coach, Kiefer Haffey. Tell me something about him that maybe people don't know about him. Um, he's really funny. He's really crazy. Um, and every gym we go to, he trips on the floor. So just keep an eye like, out. Like wipe out? Like, or, no, or just, just like he, little he'll just like trip and try and play it off. So oh, you gotta, awesome. you gotta watch. Okay. All right. Who is your funniest teammate? Um, Jerrica. Okay. All right. Who is the best dancer on the team? The best dancer is definitely Tristan. Okay. All right. Worst? Worst? Mmm. Allie Lenz. Allie Lenz. Oh, sorry, Allie. So, okay, well, now tell me about the, this team. You get, you are the, the mother goose of this team, the, the lone yeah. senior. What has been like uh, having this team, this young team, and being sort of a role model for the rest of the, rest of the program? I mean, we've just been trying to pull it together and work as a team. And I don't know, it's kind of fun being brand new because we get to start somewhere new and 
we get to see where we go from there. So. And you're considered old. That must be that must be interesting. So. Yeah, that's really <laughs> weird to me. It's my first time being the oldest. All right. Well, congratulations. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I got 94 feet to walk with Dakota Bostic here of Concordia Ann Arbor and uh, Dakota you guys started off a little slow this year but it, you've really come on in January played some really tough games and, uh, and won a bunch of games too tell me about the, the team's evolution over the last few days um we've just been figuring out we can compete with anyone and it's really translating from practice to the game and I guess it's our confidence that's coming back and yeah. And, you, and you've got, uh, you improved in the offseason with your outside game, you're, you're shooting a lot more, shooting a lot better, career high in three-point percentage. What has been different for you and someone who's been in the post and now you, you've got this outside game too? I mean, a little less contact around the three-point line, uh, but I get the best, best of both worlds, uh, shooting threes and being able to go inside and bang with the big fellas. All right, rapid fire here. Who is the worst dresser on the team? Manny Dominguez. All right, who is the best dresser on the team? Who did I say? Who is, uh, we'll give Justin Dugan. Okay, all right. Now, who is the best dancer on the team? Best dancer, Jalen Thompson. All right, who's the worst? The big fella, Paul Zisk. Oh, poor Paul. <laughs> all right, all right, with CIT 2019, getting ready to kick off, what is your favorite, I think I know the answer to this, but what is your favorite CIT memory? Uh, winning two close games last year in Wisconsin. Which one was better? Uh, I think Manny's steal and layup was, was my favorite and a celebration after. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. All right.